guys were back with Crash playing with another dog. So she does, I mean, that's, that's, you know, she does have the right, you know, postures and stuff. That's the crazy part. You see her high-stepping, though. She's high-stepping all the way around that area. And she just comes and sits by Mama. She's aware of that dog, though. And she has the correct... You know, I mean, that's... That's how a puppy would react to this dog. And this dog has the whole spectrum. This is Pretzel. This is another deaf dog, but that dog has the whole spectrum. It's, you know, it's got a lot of feral traits. So it's got the whole spectrum of behaviors. You know, it'll be overly submissive with some dogs, overly aggressive with others, a detonator with some, a finisher with others. Am I wrong, Crystal? It just has every component just in one dog. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. You know, that's the freaky part to me. And she's not around this dog. I don't know if she's ever been around the dog. She may have been here and there, but they're certainly not, you know, housemates or anything. <laughs> You know, and she does have free agency. She's doing great with her crate training. Yeah, I think you could convince somebody. You know, it was like a Mr. Magoo. Right, so she just bumped into Crystal, but she knew it wasn't me. So she's looking for me. Oh, she definitely knows the difference. She definitely knows. It's, it's amazing. Precious little dog. She just knows to sit. Crazy, crazy. All right, so let me see if I can get her back to the platform. Just a steady... Step and see her, see her. So, yeah, I would say, you know, I mean, that's definitely. I feel like it's all blind dogs would do it, but I, w I would definitely say that's a, you know, result of the platform training. She's turning into a little Tennessee walking horse. Alright, now on, she's going to shift. That other dog is throwing off a little bit, but not. You know, she's throwing in the appropriate social gestures kind of in between. All right, look, so this is where she was yesterday. I saw her kind of waving her paw. So whether you could get him to differentiate. You know, that she was on it. I think she would know she's on a different platform. If I don't, if I keep feeding her for sitting, she won't go down. She might do a paw. I really haven't lured her into any positions or anything. I could probably start that. Way. Yeah, I didn't notice it until I saw the video. Through the blur, I could see it. Because I got yelled up in the video being so foggy. She was like, she goes, I'm supposed to wipe the camera. I go, yeah, Crystal, we wipe the camera off rather than just four or five minutes. I said, two seconds of wiping the camera is better than four or five minutes are completely foggy. All right, so let me see if I can do the recall to the uh, mat. Puts a story or thing in it. some ways, I mean, she hits the other dog. She knows that's not me, but I think on some level she knows they are a lot of times by me. All right, let's see if we can get it back to the platform from here, because I think we're talking about All right, so it's going to be a steady. Oh, crap. 
Crash. Crash. I'm a children's book about Crash. I told Crystal, but I said in the, in the book she's going to have a helmet. <laughs> yeah. Because that's why she has that little bald spot on her head. And I noticed in her intake picture, I noticed it when Tony first dropped her off, but I did, it was minor. I didn't really say anything. And then I figured it out. And then I, when I looked, then I figured out it's because she does run, run into things. And then I, when I looked at the intake picture at the pound, though, she had it. All right, so let me see if I can just get her, you know, what I need to do to help her. Good, all right, look, she went right to the mat. She needs to go on the mat. That's what kills me, but she knows that other dog is there. She was kind of using her for a C&I dog, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. Kind of using her to bounce off of. All right, look, so I'm just going to do my solid page, and we'll see if we can get her. Yeah. Oh, I still remember. Because I don't. I don't want a completely shape-shifting puppy. I'd rather... <laughs> <do> <laughs> I decided that I don't want to see you. Getting so big. But you know, I, I just you know, that's what's interesting to me because you know if I didn't if I didn't require or reward that, I might not notice it. I wanted to do her paw though. I saw her kind of waving it at me. I don't know. It's really good. I think it doesn't seem to take that many times of doing something, though. You know, in my mind, I get rather than to keep getting her to reset, would by try to just, you know, I'm thinking I would have better luck if I was going to get her to do something new from this position. Oh, you little, no, not rear up like a little bird is on stage. Let me see if I can get back to the, the... So I think it's a good idea to let her know I'm more over here. All right, watch. You know, she seems to have the same behavior, though. So you see how she's kind of... She's kind of checks and balances on pretzel. I stay on that because she's kind of like biting at her to keep her away. This is what I don't understand. How does she... Did you see she was waiting for me to come over there? Well, I think once, you know, she's very aware of that dog and it's not, I don't know, you know, whether that's some gift that this little dog has or something. And I need to let her, that's kind of the cue. All right, watch. Oh, you little monkey. Now you're starting to jump and everything. You know, I think it would be, you know, our responsibility to always keep that area unobscured, Crystal. <laughs> yeah. All right, so look, so solid, and that means go back up there. Oh, she's able to go back up, isn't she? Mm-hmm. All right, so look, so now the cue. And I, the only reason I'm kind of cueing her like that is to let her know I'm more over there. She's actually taking that as the, she's actually taking that as the recall. But, you know, if you said, well, she thinks the collar's you touching her, and so you touching her there, it seems to be the same. Go back over there, that little monkey. She starts the high stepping. I'm not going to touch her this time with anything but the collar, and let's see if we get the same reaction. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. 
Yes. And I was trying this morning. We need to get fix those bulbs, Crystal. We need to get them out of there. I might have some in the house that might work. Okay. Um, but I thought, what is the difference if it's dark out? If I train crash, how's she gonna know? <laughs> uh, but I was trying to reward the wagging the tail. All right, so look, so it's gonna be a solid page. That's gonna get her back up there. Oh, oh. crashy! Right, she knows the. Again, she knows when she's bumping into that dog that that's that dog, not me. Oh, Crashy, and you just got such little itty bitty. She still has all little baby teeth. Let me, little mommy, look at your teeth real quick, Crashy. Oh, you got one tiny little baby tooth coming in. <laughs> or one tiny, or one little adult tooth. All the rest tiny. All right, so look, I'm just gonna get. She's got some sense. You see, she moved her paw right there. She's looking for magic formulas. All right, so I'm just going to go back to the map and I'm going to do the pager. <sighs> She's pretty good. I'm pretty sure she got one of the special, obedience, or special Olympics obedience. This would be like that. 